Well, they spell it small case D I S capital A B. This camera <laughs> A B I L I T Y. And for the spelling challenge, that's disability with the emphasis on ability. And that's one focus of the Miss Wheelchair uh, California pageant. Ruthie Goldcorn, you're the executive director of the California pageant. Thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you for the privilege of being here. It's, <laughs> All right. It's, uh, it's our honor to be asked. Thank well, you. thank you. I ran into you at an event and just I had to get you on the set to talk about what you all do. Now, why the, why the small case dis and then the lowercase ability? I do that. Uh, I don't know if anybody else does that, but okay. I do that because I think that um, putting the capital A makes you look at the word ability, disability, um, and, and if you look at the word invalid, if you change the syllable, it's invalid. No, mm -hmm. we are neither invalid um, nor are we um, disabled. We are differently abled, as some people like to say. And that's why I do that. That's the way I've been spelling it for years and years and years, and it grabs your attention, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It grabbed mine, that's for sure. <laughs> now, you were a Miss Wheelchair California 2001. Was that the first one? Or no, okay, how long no. Has that this, been this, going on? this pageant's been going on for almost 40 years. Oh, wow. Okay. We are a very well kept secret, and we're working really hard to blow the lid off this and the documentary. Defining beauty more than a sash and a tiara should go a long way to do that. I I was about as hooked into the disability advocacy community as you could get. I serve on executive boards and I'm an elected official with the Riverside County Democratic Party. Serve on the caucus. All these things. I didn't know. I was dared to do it, and I <laughs> I was devastated when I didn't win Miss Congeniality. Because that's what you were going for. Yes, it and, was. And instead, what happened? Well, I just, you know, stopped paying attention and I was crying and pouting and then I heard my name and I'm like, what? And they put a <laughs> crown on my head and a sash on my shoulder and flowers in my lap and I'm like, seriously. <laughs> you were wow, the one. You I'm were the one. 40 some odd years old. Everybody else is in their 20s. I was no. the grandma of the group and I am now the official spokeswoman on behalf of the disability community in California, and that is an awesome responsibility. Very good. So what are you highlighting out there? What, what message are you trying to get out to regular folks and, and uh, folks that, that are differently abled? Our focus, our mission, is to elevate the status of women with disabilities and to bring our message to public policy makers and the issues of the disability community to public policy makers because we are we are the bottom of the list. If you watch the, the slashing of services during this budget debacle, we are the ones that took it. Well, let's talk about what kind of problems you run up against. It is all about civil rights. It is all about the right to self-determination under the Constitution. The Americans with Disabilities Act will be 20 years old in 2010. Mm -hmm. And it is the third most landmark civil rights legislation in this country, and yet, we don't get respected. Well, let's talk specifically. I know I got to wrap it up pretty soon, but let's talk specifically. Like, what issues do you face? Like, just one or two things that you would like to see different. Like, going places. Is that is that one of the physical issues? physical access in municipalities? having curb cuts, having government available, having courthouses accessible. Those are the basics and fundamental, but the biggest issue is the right to self-determination and no one tells me where what, I live. But what does that mean, the right to self-determination? So just so, some Joe is, watching, what does that mean to them? There is an institutional bias that if you are in an institution, if you're in a nursing home or some other kind of, of an institution, there are services and benefits that cost the state upwards of $10,000 a month that I can get at home for less than $1,000 a month, but the nursing home lobby, they're more powerful than I am, and yet the civil rights statutes say, and the Supreme Court said in 1999, I decide where I live, how I live, and I get services at home to maintain the quality and quantity of my life. Okay, uh, I think uh, you showed me this. This is Allison Roth. She is Miss Wheelchair California 2009. They also have a Miss Wheelchair America competition and people can qualify for that through the uh, Miss Wheelchair California, is that correct? That's correct. We Good. just crowned Miss Wheelchair America two weeks ago and she is Erica Bogan of North Carolina. All right, very good. Well, thank you so much for taking time thank to you. come here and talk to us. I really appreciate it. People can uh, email you at no, K-N-O-W, 
barriers, B-A-R-R-I-E-R-S at yahoo.com, right? That's correct, it's one word. Okay, and uh, MSWheelchairCA.org, MSWheelchairCA.org. That's well. our website. Very yes, good. it is. Thank you. Thank you, Ruthie. I